شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليسم ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فإدة من أيام أخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم الأسر ولتكمل العدة ولتكمل العدة ولتكبر الله على ما هداكم ولعلكم تشكرون والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته <تصفيق> Orko mana budia Allah tabar ko cara, awan nama salah si, iki awang musi, don Sri Purnan cari abuja, kasamu elbar kan ajiya, namu kiki kebaca de tafsiri, awan nama salah si, na Ramadhan, toyo ma Allah ya su, zamu ora day day, ina bukwana ajiya, mana kan kebaca. Mana cuma satu sifat, dalam dasar akan ayat dari dagu masyhudu. Inna Allah tabarak wa taala si walakan mana na ala Musa. Walakan mana na ala Musa wa Harun. Labaring Nabi Ibrahim alaihi salatu wasalam. Bapa cikin an Nabawa. Daku mana sa Ismail, alaihi salatu wasalam. Dairin sa daku karwa, daku wanan syi, dairin biaya, kuli daku wanan syi. Allah tabarak wa taala mu siyabu. Kau mai badi, sih abin daki ambat wa akan sudah kau boleh. Kau mai sudah dalam tu abin koi. Wajang kata itu Allah dari masih biaya. Allah cawarak itu Allah yang baca mana Ishak Ali Salatu Salam, wajib simatani Ibrahim Ali Salatu Salam. Sehingga si ayam zaman tadi akan sabung kepala. Nak mohon bebang anda bicik anda bawa anda Musa Ali Salatu Salam. Shima babbani chikin banya anna bawa. Yena chikin ulul azamina rusuli. Idan kaji Allah ta'ala yana tamayi ma yichalabarin sa. Allah yana tamayi ma yichalabarin sa. Kaika chiba wana anna bin akabal labarin sa. Chikin al-Qur'an jika Musa alayhi salatu wa sallam. Sabu di ilin aran gama di ishi kada pirawana. Babban kafiri na wadna zaman. Babban kafiri na aki meme chisunan sa akho di ishi. A chikin banya nka akuran dunia. Tu Allah Taala anak saya cik, walaupun mana nak ala Musa atau Harun, hakika, menyuat tu, wata palala bapa, menyuat ni ima bapa, desi Musa alaihi salatu wasalam, dok pada orang Saharuna, dah lebih dah gak ane bida, azam mani bida, ama aku wasulu aku tidak akan sama anak bawa. Aloka chibuda. Shidi anayi Muhammad sallam. Shikataini azama ninsa. Uma shikataini hara Allah yasiri kiyama wa zaayi wana al-Nabi. Tuloka chanda aka zaabi al-Nabi Musa. Yijayi paska chibur awna. Tasang akwe wande yasam kira awna aduni hatu. Al-Nabi Musa yasan shi. Ande yasan da lili. Sabu da ajidan se jirma. Yekwa shigiri kime kia wa ajidan kura awna. Kuma aku kasih ayam bukan ini semua desi. Aku itu kasih su. Kapan ayam pesi? Aku itu kasih su. Bayang ayam ayam pesi nak jadi serat atau anak kasih su. Serak ayam semua sa, musa alis serat atau ayam semua perawan cik itu. Tuhan Allah cakala ayam zai pesi je puskan cik perawan. Kupaya senza ayam kalu pada lagi. Karena benda tak kau. Si ni ayam musa dijarun takkan sesuatu doa. Allah cakala ayam cik desi. 
اذهب الى فرعون انه بكى كي موسى عليه الصلاه والسلام ديك سام فرعون فرعون يا وجه اياك فرعون يا وجه اياك to ka san irin wannan in dai ba dan annabi ne ba a jiyar zuciyar ta zai ya za a dubi wannan dan karren mugun mutun a ce ka je ka same shi ko a najeriya ya kace ka je ka samu wani kai bai wa'azi to to lalle sai ka yi lisafi bai ba ya zaba ila fir'auna inna mutaka qala rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassirli amri wa hlul uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli waj'al li waziran min ahli harun akhi ushdu bi azri واشرك في امري كي نصفيها كثيرا ونزور كثيرا انه كنت بنا بصيرا قال قد اوتيت سؤلك يا موسى ولك ان مننا عليك مرة اخرى دوك تشن دا اكتشي يجي يسن ايكن بابا ني سي سو مو الدعاء يسا اذا كان دا وني ابو بابا ابا غبانكا وندا كان اجي يا قرفن كتو فرقو سو مو الدعاء سي كا فكر من ابو اني موسى يا سن فرعون سي سو مو الدعاء يتشي يا ابنجي zuci kar irjina ka yalwa ta min shi kuma al'amari na ka sauka ka min shi harshe na aka ce annabi Musa yana da a kamar ka ce yin yana wajen magana wasu ka ce lokacin da a annabi a lokacin da fir'auna yake son ya halaka shi aka ce ko ya kama gemun sanin ko ya ne aka ce to wannan fa shine bayar da ba mu kai yaron nan fa ana ganin shi ne shi ne aka ce to abai jarabawa aka kawo wuta aka kawo da bino aka ce zabi dai sai zabi wuta sai wuta ta kona shi balle sai in gancin wannan kisa ba amma ja kai tun a lokacin ya dauki wato gaushin wuta sai kona mai harshe zan to yana da wato ainihi ina wajen magana to shi sa a wannan addu'an yake ce mu Allah wannan ina nawa ka sa ni in ne bayani a gane sa'an nan ka san ya min waziri mace mace a cikin yan uwana ta ga shi annabi Musa shi ya addu'a a samun man mace mace kafin Allah ta ala ya ba ma annabi Haruna annabta waje alli waziran min ahli sa'an nan ka sanya shi cikin masu taimako na cikin wanda zamu yi wannan gogor mai tare cikin wanda zasu arfafa ni wanda zamu ambace ka tare ya ci addu'a ga addu'a ga neman agaji gane mun taimako duka da gwajin Allah ta'ala Allah ta'ala ce dumin baka shi Allah ka tambaye shi duniya ka tambaye shi kari ka tambaye shi gida ka tambaye shi mota ka tambaye shi jirgin sama duk zai iya baka matsala kawai kar shi ne ka tambaye wani ba Allah ba amma in Allah za ka tambaye ko duniya zake so a baka ka tambaye shi shi sa annabi Musa ya addu'a Allah ta'ala ce dumin baka ka dai je ka samu fir'aun to shi ne fa aka kama tafiya aka ji aka fuskanci farawa wanda shi ma kisa ne mun shaji yana da yawa ala ai halin anan Allah ta'ala ce wala kan mananna ala Musa wa Harun haqiqa mun yi ni'ima ga annabi Musa mun yi ni'ima ga annabi Haruna alayhi wassalatu wassalam wa asli in surah as-safat in this ramadan tafsir we have concluded the qisa of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam up to the point where Allah the most high granted him another male child known as Ishaq and Allah said we blessed Ibrahim we also blessed Ishaq and also we made from their uh, from their descendants muhsinun doers of good wa zalimun li nafsi mubin and those who wrong themselves now it's another new scene where Allah the most high is, is discussing another great messenger of Allah among the ulul azmi known as Musa alayhi salam uh, for those who are reading Quran will find in so many places the qissa of Musa alayhi salam and uh, his confrontation with Firaun whom you can describe as the most tyrannical leader on the earth who arrogated all power to himself including uh, to himself including the right of being worshiped that is the lord worthy of being worshiped so firaun being so influential and so powerful was informed that there would come a messenger who was going to over 
overthrow his overthrow him. Therefore, Piraun said it was never going to be possible. He took measure of slaughtering every male children that were being born at that moment in order to ensure that he continued perpetually in his power. At that very dangerous and critical moment, Musa salam, was born and Allah the Most High protected Musa and made Musa salam, uh, to grow in the house of Fir'aun. He was brought up in the house of Fir'aun and he was protected. His wife, that is wife of Fir'aun, convinced Fir'aun that he was going to be of benefit to them. Therefore, let them consider him as their son. So, he knew everything about Fir'aun, how dangerous Fir'aun was, and now Allah the Most High appointed him as messenger and sent him to the same Fir'aun who was so, so tyrant and dangerous to, uh, to those who opposed him. So Musa salam, knew that the task was not an easy one. It was indeed a Herculean task which he has to face through asking for Allah's uh, intervention and then his self-determination. So Allah the Most High says, وَلَقَدْ مَنَنَّا عَلَى مُوسَى وَحَارُونَ we have indeed conferred our favor on Musa alayhi salam wa Harun and Harun. This is what Allah the Most High repairs in Surah Taha, where Musa knowing fully the critical nature of the assignment he was given, he turned to Allah the Most High asking for his special assistance in order to confront this very dangerous uh, human being. He says, he said, Rabbi Shrah li Sadri. Oh Allah, expand my chest, make me to be patient. Wesirli Amri. And also make easy my task. As difficult as the task Musa was facing, then he faced Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to ask him to make it easy for him. What this is teaching us is that whenever you are facing any assignment or any difficult moment in your life, what you should do is that. It is beyond your own handling. It is for Allah the Most High to assist you. Therefore, turn yourself totally to Allah the Most High in supplication for Allah to make that task easy for you. Ta'ala Rabbi Shrah li Sadri. He said, O oh Allah, expand my chest. Waisirli Amri. Waisirli Amri wa Hulukatan Milisani. Wajali Wazira min Ahli. O oh Allah. Appoint a wazir, an assistant for me, min ahli, from my own family. And he even mentioned the personality he wanted Allah the Most High to appoint as his assistant. He said, Harun Akhi, appoint Harun, my brother, as another messenger who will assist me in this confrontation. Harun Akhi, Oshdid Bihi Azri wa Ashriku fi Amri, Kainu Sabiaka Kathira, to the end of those verses, then Allah the Most High in the end he said, all your requests have been granted, O Musa. We have indeed bestowed our favor on you before this time. We have bestowed our favor to you by protecting you and making you to grow even in the house of a Fir'aun. To the time where Allah the Most High said, Maratan Ukhra, Walakad Manana Aleka Maratan Ukhra. إذ أوحينا إلى أمك ما يوحى to the end of those verses in Surah uh, Taha and Allah the Most High even there mentioned that he conferred his favor on Musa alayhi salatu wasalam so here Allah is repeating it that he is indeed favored chosen and protected Musa and Harun when he sent them to Fir'aun وَنَجَّيْنَاهُمَا وَقَوْمَهُمَا مِنَ الْكَرْبِ الْعَظِيمِ That one was Nabi Harun alayhi salatu wa salam Sunta Pujam Parauna Sunta Puskanti Parauna Kuma Sunta Sama Nasara Akan Parauna Allah Ta'ala Chi وَنَجَّيْنَاهُمَا Muka Kukuchan Dasu Muka Sairat Dasu وَقَوْمَهُمَا دَوَائِدَ سْكَبِيسُ مِنَ الْكَرْبِ الْعَذِيمِ دَقَوَاتُ عَيْنِهِمْ 
wato bakin ciki babba bala'i babba da rigima mai girma domin fuskantar Fir'auna ba karmin al'amari ba ne sai da tafkin Allah saboda shi Fir'auna baya saurara duk wani wanda ya taka dokan sa to lahi da zai kwana shi yasa ai da ka da ka ji labarin cewa mutum yana kashi jariri jariri to ka san wannan mutum mugun mutum to ba dai ba ba biyu ba ba uku ba to shi yasa mulki idan Allah ta'ala bai taimaki mai mulki to zai amfani da mulkin ya kara makan sa bala'i gubaki ya mulki a baci wadda take da karfi wadda idan mutum ya amfani da karfin wato ta yadda ba a so sai halaka mutum tun a duniya kuma ya kai shi wutan jahannam a lahira fir'auna ya yi mulki a Allah ta'ala ce mun kutar da Musa alayhi salatu wasalam da kuma dan uwansa Haruna ta san lokacin da fir'auna ya gane cewa Musa alayhi salatu wasalam shine wannan yara wannan yaran da aka gaya mushi shine tun daga shi ya zo ya ce da shi ya kada ita Allah to a lokacin lisafin sai rikici inda a ce mai hankali ne sai 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 imani tun da duk sulla tsallan da aka yi yaron na a gidan sai girma kuma shine amma saboda taurin kai ne fir'auna ya ci gaba da jayayya da Musa alayhi salatu wasallam ya tara bukaye bokaye na musamman wanda sanda aka tantance su aka zo aka jera su aka ce a buga da Musa alayhi salatu wasallam da wayannan bokaye amma da Musa ya je fa sandar sa sandan ta hade dukkan abin da aka yi na sihiri bokaye suka leka suka ga sandan Musa ko kumbura ba ce ba alayhi salatu wasallam sai suka yi sujada suka ce sun yi imani da ubangijin talakai amanna bi rabbil alamin rabbi Musa wa Harun kaga har yanzu an ambace su tare Fir'auna ya duba duba ya ce amantu lahu qabla an a'zana lakum innahu lakabiru alladhi allamakum usir wa sufa ta'lamun law qatta'anna aydiyakum wa arfilakum min khilaf wa nusallibannakum ajma'in haka manya suke magana da ya ce a kuma ku mi kauya bo kai a wani ayin ma yace to ai shiri akai kai da ka taro su ka tace su ka sa su abin nan amma duk da haka fir'auna bai iya gane ya ba suka ce sun yi imani da ubangijin talakai ka san shi ma cewa yake shi ma ubangijin talakai ana rabbukum al'ala to ba a san wannan ne ba sai suka yi tafsiri domin tafsiri ba tun yau ake yin tsaba amma na bi rabbil alamin sai suka ce rabbi Musa wa Harun ubangijin Musa da Haruna ba kai ba to tashi hankalin fara'auna ya karo yace to kun yi imani da shi gabanin ni ba ku izini to zan har yanke hannayen in yanke hannun hagu kafar dama kafar dama hannun hagu sanan in tsire ku a san dukkanin kalo ladair ina ila rabbina munkalibun suka ce babu damuwa mu dai zamu koba ga Allah mu amfata mu kawai Allah ya bi mana to mai imani yana iya wato hade dukkan wata barazana ya fuskance ta kuma ya nasara aka ta kamar yadda Allah ta'ala ya ce wa ya ce mana anan cewa wannan jaina na wannan jai wannan jaina huma wa qauma huma ila karbil adu Allah shi ke iko da mutun daga dukkan wani mawayacin yanayi da shi ba annabi Musa ba karamin jihadi ba da shi da annabi Harun alayhi salatu wasallam kuma abun darasi anan shi ne ga masu da'awa kar mutun ya dauki da'awa cewa ta gidan su ne shi kadai zai iya da'awa ta wuce gaban mutun da ya ce shi kadai ya iya kuma shi ne zai da'awa ta kowa da kowa ne wanda Allah ta'ala za a wannan aiki har salima mai da'awa shi kama ce dinga nemo mutane cewa ku zo mu taimaka mu wannan aiki kamar da annabi Musa alayhi salatu wasallam ya nemi taimakon Allah ya kuma nemi Allah ta'ala ya taimaka mashi da mutun cikin zuriyarsa ya kamata masu da'awa ne su so juna masu dinga ya kan juna ana habaici wa juna ana zage zage wa juna ana raba juna duk bai dace da masu da'awa masu da'awa su ya kamata a ce suka fi kusa da kare junan su da san junan su 
da aminta da junan su da kuma sanin cewa suna da raunin su kaga shi annabin Allah ne amma sai ya dinga bayanin wasu abubuwa wanda ke ya san sai an ci maka masa to ina kai kai ba annabi bane ba annabi ma kuma a Najeriya ke in ake irin wannan barna dare da rana saka akwai bukatar masu da awa su zamanto wasu mutane na musamman a tsakanin su kada a ji su amma sai ka ji dan abu dan kakkani ya sa wannan ya tumi wannan wannan ya bugi wancan wannan ya kwali wannan su kuma masu bin su kowa akwai inda ya tsaya ana ta rigima to kaga Allah Musa shi ya ma nemi a taimaka mu ba wani abu ne wanda za a ce kai wani gwanin ta dan ka ji ka yi shi na da ake bayarwa gwanin tanka ce kowa ya tsira Allah ta'ala ya samu dace after the name that Allah the most high conferred on Musa and Harun he said when I say now how we saved both of them men in Musa alayhi salatu wasalam and qawmuhuma and those who believed in them from the danger from the evil of Fir'aun so many scenes of confrontation took place uh, between Fir'aun and Musa to the time when Fir'aun invited certified magician by himself he certified them as expert in order to come and confront Musa they confronted him and what they saw taught them that Musa alayhi salatu wasalam was never a magician he was a messenger from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala therefore they submitted themselves by saying amanna bi rabbil alamin we believed in the lord of the universe Rabbi Musa wa Harun the lord of Musa and Harun that is not Fir'aun it was that time Fir'aun realized that he was in trouble he was the one who selected who has chosen who certified those who were to confront Musa and the confrontation took place they knew that Musa was not uh, a magician he was a prophet therefore they submitted then Fir'aun started saying amant lahu qabla an adhana lakum should you believe in him even before i grant permission to you you should have waited until i permit you to believe then you should believe but for doing so you have committed a great crime which you are going to test the consequence of that crime law qat anna aidiyakum wa arjulakum min khilafin i will certainly cut aidiyakum your hands wa arjulakum and your legs min khilafin on alternate meaning he will cut the right hand and the left leg left uh, leg and the right hand and alternation so that's what he promised to do against them but still they remain firm they say la dhair there was nothing for us we remain where we are committed in believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Musa alayhi salatu wasalam emerged triumphant when Allah the most high also intended to destroy Fir'aun and his people they pursue Musa and the people of Musa but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved Musa from getting drowned and Fir'aun and his people were drowned wa najaynahu ma wa qawmahu ma min al-karb al-'adhim we saved him and his people min al-karb al-'adhim from great affliction great affliction that met the people of uh, Fir'aun so we have so many lessons to learn as those of us in the field of da'wah that we need to collaborate there is need for collaboration it is not a duty that one an individual or a particular organization can adequately discharge rather we need collaboration assistance we work hand in hand in order to uplift the cause of this religion you can never be the alpha and omega in the field of dawa if a personality can be so it would have been musa alayhi salam but we can see clearly musa sought for allah's assistance to appoint muharun as another assistant for him as a messenger of allah and allah answered that so uh, that prayer and he appointed muharun uh, to help him in this great confrontation and in the end what was the result they succeeded because of joining hand together because of collaboration but in a situation whereby one feels that he is the authority he is the only one who knows it who can do it
who uh, can talk, then he arrogate everything to himself, then we are bound to fail. Rather, if you are good in this place, if you are some, you are weak in other areas. So those who are good in that area will bring their own assistance. With this, everyone we see will help. With this, inshallah, the hour will be uh, successful. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us his mercies. وَنَصَرُنَاهُمْ فَكَانُوهُمُ الْغَالِبِينَ Semu ke watu ayin inti yama jesu Muka tau ke kasu Anang kaga da mirin yaku makan jami Bada Musa katai da Haruna alayhi salatu wa salam kareba Allah se basu nasara Da shi Musa alayhi salatu wa salam Da shi Haruna alayhi salatu wa salam Da wa enda skabisu Tia zaman tu jami Kaga da da paruku kukuchar wang da Musa ni da Haruna alayhi wa salatu wa salam Amba da ta nasara tazo Se ta shahpesu da kumwa enda skabisu Wa nasara nahu Se muka tema kamasu Muka aga dhamu su Fakanu humu lgalibin Sisi kazan tu suni masu rinjai Gashu enkada Amma sabu wa timu kong Allah Sisi kasamu watu rinjai Aka mbukyansu Shini loka chinda aka jayiti Kwa jangu watu ayini niti kum Ani Musa ya bujiti kuda sanansa Tapashi biu Sisi kasamu kasasa kabi Achei ruwa ya pashi biwe Saya kuwa ni saya Nenda kasan juu saya kuwa ni roi yadaskari Sisi kasalla ki Shifu mamu timu naka Ndiye ki baye dawayo Nda mankaripi na ikiwa nishi na Saye shika Maala mayi ilu masabada kisa Saka chi luking pirao na yichi kwa zeshi kwa Ake ake nishi Pirao na yichi saye shika Loki chi yi Yeshi ga ana tabi Yeshi ga ana bishi Mwa Musa ina tata laki wa Shida muda anaza Mwati mwa nae Musa na karishi ya tata laki Pirao na shiku mwa na karishi ya shiku Shala taala chi ruwa ya hadi Se kwa sa ruwa Shia mwa awna wa Allah wa nekari yaiki Aloka chinde yichi ya yi iman Yichi amantu anna hu la ilaha illa ladhi amana bihi wa nuhi israel Wa ana minal muslimin Allah ta'ala chi ala ana Yenzini zaka imani kwa awna Wa kan asaita kabulu Wa kunta minal muslimin Faliyoma nunajika bibadinika Nitakuna liman khalfa ka aya Yichi na yi imani Da wan da wani israel saka yi imani kishi Kisa baa imani luka changar gara Umu tega malaika na waka rebaa mga na imani Imani taza madula luka cha Wa na imani ndole ni Allah baa ya dada wa na imani Allah taala chi yanzune Kisa dhub drama nkana da drama Na kuma menene Nsamba na akita al khairi Karika ya wasa Dangwa na ndama dhe kubuchi Dhe kubuchi Kwa ya kubuchi dang baka da karibi Ya kubuchi kwa dan shikaru Ya kwa dan baka da wa nambulikin Dhe kwa chi Dama baa wasa da Kerana saya sambut dah membagi babu ya kan, dah mengkaji si ayam muda ini, dah Musa alaih salam saya harus jaga makas kia, sih kerap sih ketuh musi kena, mungkin kena cik apa? Biar apa yang dah, alat alat si Yanzu, tu bermak anggap makan jala, zaman bergerak ganji kengka, dengan tu ayah gemuk aja, kisah yang zgaum kerana ya pi si kerap dua bu, amaya u akhir si, ayam isabis, sebab dah Allah itu betul dah bin depan acah saya mengganti. Dia muda ni sendiri senggeng si. Allah je kamu ni mungkin kerap tu nak kumal ini na. Ye na ye na banyak ada kerap tu akan mungkin saya kira misra. Mungkin saya nak bukan tanjari dah. Saya nak cik nak cik tu dua misra. Zon ke firawan aja apa. Mena 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 misra kecik tak kau ke firawan. Kecik tak kau kamu mana firawan yang naron ke desi. Kau nak firawan ini na yang hari zana ganis. Kamu kan nanya isa, kau dapat musli musli tak? Dia wana air. Dan yang soai anak yang kuai gun awak tu firawan aci tu. Kau orang ni aci nana tu naik. Aku lemu. Ama ku ku aci belikan cem misra. Saya tak ada wana 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 gawat nafir. Semua tu orang ni aci zai bersih dua agam si. Wana kata isa dua ni kata dia musli tak? Ya Allah cakap dia perlu wana mungkin cun cun cun. Kuma hari yoga gawang yang nana anak. Gawang macam noh ni aje yang kena sah. Alok macam perahu na. Aje yang harus macam ayam nuna gawang semua macam noh. Kaya siapa kau dia? Kena kah Quran ini kesian. Kuma macam yang ada drama. Kena wasad drama perahu na. Yang wasad drama kau tanya nak kasih. Nah. Read only now. Wakar asyik tak after all.
you have been tyrannical enough, you disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wakunta min al and you became among the corruptors on the earth. Today, we are going to save you, Bibadanika, your body, your corpse. We are only going to save your corpse. Why? Litakuna liman kalfaka aya for you to be a lesson. For those who are coming behind you <coughs> or after you to take lesson that no matter how powerful an individual can be, in as much as he is in confrontation with Allah and his messengers, he can never scale through. So that's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala drowned Fir'aun and his people. And in the end, Allah the Most High brought uh, by the, uh, by the uh, Ariba Bank the corpse of the body of Fir'aun. Right from that time out to this moment, Fir'aun's body is there. Uh, and it has even become a source of revenue for the Egyptian government. Because if you go there, there is a um, fee you are going to pay. And when you are going to see Fir'aun, there is a special fee for seeing Fir'aun. So it is a source of revenue. Allah the Most High mentioned it. And to tell you that Quran is true, and it will continue to be true, Allah the Most High said he will serve the body. If someone wants to say Quran is not true, Fir'aun might have been destroyed so that the corpse will never be found. So that people will say, no, this was where Allah the Most High said the body will be saved is not true. So to confirm that it is true, the verse is there and the cause is there up to this moment. Allah the Most High is great. So Allah says, <coughs> We help them. Therefore, they became victorious. <coughs> they emerged triumphant. Allah helped them over Fir'aun and his people. There's no way you can read Taurat and say that you do not understand. Explicitly, everything explained in detail, clearly, to the level of understanding of everyone. However, Allah the Most High gave the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the Quran which abrogated the Torah, the Injil, and the Zabur that were given to previous prophets like Musa, Dawood, and the, um, um, so, uh, with the, the other one, Musa, Dawood, and the Isa, alayhi salatu wasalam. So the Quran became the final and divine document that will remain and uh, will stand the test of time. وَهَدَيْنَاهُمَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ You are the one who is 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 the one who Takun shi komai a dunkole na Qur'ani mai girma komai ta takun shi shi dunkole to daga cikin abin da zai ma fada faranta ma wannan surat al-mustaqim da muke mai tako da shi ku hidina surat al-mustaqim bayan muna kanta sa'annan muna addu'a Allah ta'ala yayi dauke rawukan muna kanta to Allah ya muna irin wannan shaida kamar yadda musu we the umma of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we are on surat al-mustaqim and we are fervently praying for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us alive on Surat al-Mustaqim and take our souls while we are committed in following the Surat al-Mustaqim. That is why Allah the Most High, in one of the verses of Surat al-Fatiha, they have prayed, <coughs> they have prayed Surah of the Quran, uh, says, Ihdina Surat al-Mustaqim, O oh Allah guide us to the right way. We are always praying. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept that prayer to keep us alive on it and also to take our souls while we are on Surat al Mustaqim. Wataraqna alayhima fil akhirin. Fil akhirin. Allah Ta'ala Chi Sa'annam Maka Barwa Tu Yabu Nama Samma Akash Zuwa Kar Sharaima. Do one of the Anne Abuch Anne Musa Se Kajia Kao Issa Se Issa Midani. Mutan is not some Issa Anne Musa. Musamma Akao Pirauna. Naka Samu, you want Chimus and Wilson, Saki Sang and then Musa, Sisan Perona. So we share in Perona. A lot of Alachi Mukabari and a table and the Musa. The Indaka and the Musa and Machish like Yaboni. 
ki sa mu yanzu abun nan kuma za ka samu a gida je daban daban akwai Musa an sa wa yara suna Musa ai wance shine original din da wayannan da ana ana fata ne amma shi wance shine Musa original to sa haka nan ma Harun za ka gida je akwai suna mai suna Haruna saboda soyayya da kauna da kuma so shi sa mu al'umma annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Allah ya yi mu da yalwan zuciya da wato ainin son jama'a ba ma takaita sunayen mu akan adabi shi kadai sallallahu alaihi wasallam duk wani annabi da ka sani za ka samu a gidajen musulmai akwai musu nan sa Allah ta'ala ce mun bar wato ainin akan su an bato mai dadi mai kyau wanda mutane za su danga abbatan su da shi ana murna ana jin dadi na'am we left for them a good remembrance fil akhirin in the later generations For example, we were not in existence when Musa came and when he left this world here and Harun. But we made the story in the glorious Quran. Therefore, we are reading whenever Musa is mentioned, we pray for him by saying alayhi salatu wasalam. We remember him with goodness. We try to emulate uh, the footstep of Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, especially his commitment to confronting uh confronting evil deed and evil doers as he did and uh, he was victorious over Fir'aun that is why you see because of the love uh the muslims have for the messengers of allah you see us naming our children after such prophets like Musa Harun Isa and so on because we have an expand heart we believe in our messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we believe in all the messengers who came before the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam so whenever musa alayhi salatu wasallam is mentioned today tomorrow to the end of the world you hear good remembrance you hear people praying for them and taking them as good personalities worthy of emulation salamun ala musa wa harun allah to don allah ta'ala ce amincin sa ya tabbata ga su dan aljanna dukkan wani abu amuci ne ta kaka ya kare salamu ala musa aminci ya tabbata kan musa alayhi salatu wasalam to ba shi kadai ba da dan wansa haruna kaman ka ce ne salamu ala musa salamu ala harun dukkan nan su bi allah ta'ala ya amince da su kuma amincin allah ta'ala ya tabbata gare su domin shi aminci musulunci kullun abin da yake karantarwa a samu aminci shi sa ga son musulmai shine aminci assalamu alaikum idan sun yi sallah sun gidar abu na farko da zaka yi wato ainihin kara sallan kada shi shine ka ce assalamu alaikum ka ga wani daman ka ka ga wani hagun ka cewa amince ya tabbata ba fada ba hayaniya ba jayayya ba kiyayya ba yaki bana shine musulunci to shi Allah ta'ala da kansa yake cewa to aminci ya tabbata gawani Allah ya aminci da mu gaba ke da peace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protection and security from all the anger and punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon Musa and Harun meaning Allah the most high has accepted Musa and Harun as his righteous servant therefore he is sending peace and blessing to those personalities Allah the most high also make our our tahiyya our greeting salam when you meet your brother you are greeting him you are happy you are saying assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah When you are terminating your salat you say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah to the person in your right hand side and to the other one on your left hand side so that he be comfortable with you that you are not there to harm him you are his brother 100% therefore he should be at home with you so this is our greeting and this is whom we are inna kadhalika najazil muhsinin wayannan annabawan da muka ji kisosin su a zaman mu na wannan sura surtu safar wato Allah ta'ala haka yake kare karshen tari labarin su sai ce haka nan yake sakan yawa mutane masu kyautu da su to annabawa su mutane ne na musamman wadda dabi'an su da ba'amalan su da komai na su kyautu da ba ne to sai Allah ta'ala ce haka muke sakan ya musu mun sakan ya musu da aminci mun sakan ya musu da aljanna mun sakan ya musu da dauka mun sakan ya musu da ambace su da alkhairi bayan rasuwarsu wanda ga yarasu sharri zaka dinga ji ala abba ta'ala cewa ne to a dai shiru to kaga magana da yanzu fir'auna an kira shi ai shi ce wallahi la'anatullah a kansa la'antan Allah 
taga abeba shi sa kyautata wannan Allah ta'ala yana kin kyauta wa masu kyautata ni ladina ahsanul husna wa ziyad wanda suka kyautata akwai kyautata wa da za a yi musu hadda kari Allah ya sa mu na ci us we reward al muhsinin those who are doing good as Allah the most high rewarded Musa elevated him, him protected him saved him from the evil of the round left a good remembrance for him and Harun in the later generations and give him peace salam kadhalika najizil muhsinin that is how we give recompense on those who are muhsin those who are doing good that that is why you are invited to be doing good a good doer is accepted and Allah most high is happy with him because those who are doing good Allah most high said is goodness for them and also ziyada uh, additional the ladina ahsan al husna for those who are doing good they for them is husna goodness wa ziyada and also additional goodness on top of that goodness innahuma min ibadina al mu'minin da nabi harun alayhi salatu wasalam min ibadina suna cikin bayan mu al mu'minina masu iman kaga wannan shi da ne daga Allah ta'ala wanda ya shaide su cewa suna da iman kuma Allah tabarak wa ta'ala ya sanya musu masu iman where among our believing servants a clear certificate from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala awarded to Musa alayhi salam for their sincere iman and commitment in that iman may Allah the most high make us follow their footsteps wa inna ilyasa lamin almursalin to a takaitan takaitawa da dan uwan sa annabi harun alayhi wasallatu wasallam dukan su biyu Allah ta'ala ya kara musu wato ainihin aminci to sai kuma annabi ilyas alayhi salatu wasallam Allah ta'ala ce lalle lalle ilyas yana cikin wato ainihin manzanni yana cikin manzanni wa inna ilyas la min almursalin babu kokonto babu shakka annabi ilyas yana cikin wato ainihin manzanni annabi ilyas yana cikin manzanni da yawa za ka samu ba a san tarihin shi yana da matsayi babba wajen Allah ta baraka wata kuma manzo ne wanda ya gogorma aka buga da shi ka san duk wani annabi Allah ta'ala yana tuno shi da yake zama ansa irin yanda suke shi ma sai a kimsa shi ka ga nai Musa da yake boka yi ne mutanen Firawun manyan manyan boka yi wato ba ba bokan shi su ya kai wato matuka sai aka turo shi yazo ya kure su su mutanen annabi Isa masu hiri ne su ni abu mutane aka turo shi aka ce warkar da makafi ya ba su ido ya tada ma mutacce saboda a kure su ta haka dan insha Allah tafiya inda kai za mu ji labarin annabi Isa alayhi salatu wasalam Allah ta'ala ya tabbata mana cewa lalle shi ya dan cin wato ainihi manzanni na Allah tabarak wa ta'ala lamin al mursalin was among the mursalin our messengers so elias alayhi salam was another messenger whom allah the most high is going to discuss here and his confrontation with his people just as musa confronted his people and he emerged victorious allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us in iman ah daga cikin tambayoyi dan uwa ke cewa shi mutun zai iya yin sunan rawatib na bayan sallar isha a ramadan a wani lokaci ya kamata a babu laifi idan aka yi din sallar isha idan akwai lokaci tsakanin isha din da tarawi babu laifi mutun ya raka biyu ya samu lada idan kuma ana yin tarawin ne ba wani rata tsakanin su sai kai zikirin da aka ce kai na bayan sallar bayan tarawi zaka ƙara nafila duk babu laifi kuma Allah ta'ala zai rubuta maka shi kar mutun ya dauka cewa dole dole ne kawai sai yayi sallan bayan wannan sallan yawanci na fulfili annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya fi su a gida na fulfili ya fi su a gida za ka dan ka ji kiri bayan tarawi ka je kai sallan nafilan ka na isha a gida ba laifi ne ba sallan ka kwata yi na i has asking about the sunan rawatib those voluntary prayers being observed either before or after compulsory prayer she so is asking whether one can observe such nawafil after isha in this month of ramadan 
So it depends on the situation. If in the mosque you are praying immediately after the termination of uh, uh, Isha, you join with uh, Taraweeh, you won't have time to do that. But if there is time in between, that you can be able to perform, nothing stops you from doing that, you are going to get reward for that. But if it, there is no time, then you join your Taraweeh and you perform your Nawafil at home, just as the Prophet Sallallahu used to do. Ya ya ake gane anyiwa ma'awrata sihiru tafriq Kwa minene maga ninsa To gaskia Ala samu nsihi Hakana miji da mata Kuma Qur'ani ya tabata da haka Ila de mutu yitini mansari Daga sharim wa shari Daga sharim mutani da sharim aljan Dadu kamani me shari Ana ya samu misali ma Muji da mata suna kama labia Sayu kumo watu aini kiai ya shiga Wada ba ma ana ba dali kumo loka shi ara yegani wa wada nyu rukia kasa mu ita wata tana da wani watu aljani ata ra ita ko kuma a shi karan kan sa bajin ya dan tuna da aljani ata ra bashi a binda ba wai duk kan sa ba yi ta kanu su za a ce wai 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 abin nan sihiri ne ba wai lokacin ba ba sihiri bane kawai ta kanu su ne suke da matsalolin su ba wani magana sihiri illa a zauna da su a masu nasiha a sasanta su amma idan ta bayyana aka gane wajen ruqiya wajen wasu alamomi wanda ke bayyana cewa lalle shi mijin yana da jinnu ko tana da jinnu to wannan za a iya cewa a kuma a nemi wa to ima fita da addu'o'i na sunna sa'an nan kuma da samun kwararru malamai wanda suka wato ainin yi fice a wannan fannin wajen addu'o'i wajen ruqiya wajen abin da za a sa a ruwa na sunna wanda za a yi wanka da shi wanda za a sha duk shari'a ta yadda a yi domin a samu wato ainin lafiya uh, Sihir he is asking how can one understand how a couple can understand that they are affected by Sihir Tafriq. It's a type of Sihir that is done in order to separate between a husband and a wife. So uh, Sihir is, a, is confirmed that yes, it exists. However, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who protects. Sometimes it is not Sihir, but it is misunderstanding that accumulates so that you find out that there is no peace, no understanding at all between uh, couples. If that is understood, people of experience and scholars should play their role in settling them. But if it is confirmed that it is sihir that affects them, that bring about trouble and misunderstanding, then uh, ruqya uh, should be done uh, for each and every one of them, and then with other supplications, by the grace of Allah, Allah the Most High will, uh, will solve the problem. Don't wait to our inama in a malam do the dukanim was sororo fatan al khairi. Allah sakar al khairi. A look at Chinda Mutinki Azumi, say ye jebu da baiki, say ye bu da baiki, the kudin da ba halal ba. A manachi akabashi tejama say ye chi. Kuma ye ampani de ita ujambu de baki mene na hukunse azuminsa. Paruko beki utabadi de cha amana. Kana azumi kacha amana ayabu beki utabadi. Ayabu kai ayabu de azumi ki karanta rwashi ni mi santa ching amana. Kinan darusun da aki su asamu na azumi kaman be okam. Ama azumun kata da de de ba kundi sabu azumun ka. One day kari azumi de haramu azumun sa tayi. Haramu de nantana nantana jaran sa ze biya. In the Bia, in the Bia, in the Azaba, in the Jeran Sidi, in the Tuba. Amma, Azamun Sayyara Gaya Kairana, Ta Paat Azamun Sayyara Chika Chip. Na Paat Angani. Wanna Yama Banta Da Wanda, No Kiko Dungwa Wanji, Kuhi Sa Chiko Dungwa Ni, Yijay Wana Al Khairi Da Ita. Apo Yama Banta Takana Wana. Ibadah Chia Kasa Shia Iya Kai Karishanta. Wan Challai Pinta Na Nanta Na Jeran Sayyara. Amma, Unku Ni Na Kwa Su, Na Wani, Kwa Na Wasu, Sayyajay Wana Abad Al Khairi Da Shit Wana, Wan nasi nak kita alihir baca iba, rumah nak alihir bahasa siapa? Ia mai dah ubi, kau ni pun sekarang dah muda. Nak patang kau pun sekarang ini. Wan aku ubat iba dah ni ansa siapa ke kacian iba dan sekarang ini cora pun bahasa siapa? Ia nak zaman wan nak pun licin Allah dah ubi nak kita dah alih. Ah, someone was was interest in interested a particular amount, and he used that amount or money to break his fast without the approval or permission of those who entrust that money to him. Meaning he ate 
he break his fasting with the haram. What is the position of the fasting? His fasting is valid. In as much as he fasted as expected of every Muslim, the fasting is valid and the sin of eating that haram is also there. That amana he betrays. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will judge him accordingly in that. But his fasting is valid. But uh, a situation whereby the act of worship may be rendered useless or uh, rejected by Allah the Most High is a situation whereby someone embezzles all his silk money and then he go, for example, he build a mosque. Allah the Most High will not accept that worship from him. Rather, what is uh, what he should have done is that he should return that money to where he has stolen them. That is the only way he can be saved. By building a mosque or spending in charity from that money will not make Allah the Most High to forgive him because of engaging in that goodness. So this is the difference between the two. This one is an act of worship. You have performed it successfully, but in the end, you break fasting with haram. Fasting is valid, and the punishment of eating the haram is there. But this is a situation whereby one struggles to go and uh, embezzle. He steals money, and then he builds mosque, or he builds Islamia, or something of that nature. Allah did not charge you, saying that you must build Islamia in your life. You can spend the whole of your life without building a class and you earn paradise since you do not have the means of doing so. So one should return that money. That is the only way he can be saved. Tambaya Tagaba, what advice do we have for a husband that doesn't try to do justice to his wives and children? For example, he would buy a car for his one son and not buy for the other. He would pay school fees for once one child and uh, one child of his wife and not pay, not pay for the other. To share some other things that are not matter, who are here to cover it in Baba. She said, "Allah, Allah, the Chief of Masters, our matter be uku, udu." Say it in the Baba's other Chief of Masters, I can there. Yeah, but do the money seek a car matter. Can you see them go away now? You mean you can't even do it? You know, our our Chief of Masters is a car, be be uku, be uku, udu, be uku. Do but do the money. Because I'm not going to do it. Allah, Allah, be do it. Thank you, Mata. But look, we need Nisa. We must not go to the last hour. We are going to keep Allah to do it. We are going 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 to do it. Tukar kepada alam apa cik bekerja, apa alam apa cik tuh cik hal jenna. Saya nak ayah, waktu ayah ning azki ni dega Allah taala, begini tak kisah semua nak kembali tu dua lagi musa adal cik. Kuma agan abu gula, adal cik depan dosu. Karena ia macam bi ukap sun taya arangka, wana Allah bade kama kene siwa. Amadul lo kecil de wana nansong. Yesa kaki musuh guna mader, kuka kaki hana tak kira, kuka kaki wala kan kaca, tuza kau wala kan cuma kaki. Hakan yang ayah, ayah yang kedua ayah yang kini. Amma ing Allah jadi baik dan sang tapi ada seorang cuba tak kan nuna ba, sah enam benda kau benda semua. Wan nang sang benda kau makan sih. Tapi yang siwa nanti yang ada cuma ani, ustaz zon itu yang nak kaki ia pun benda, semua mabak santai ayah pun nuba, ana yang sama kan. Allah bade kau makan sih. Amma dzalan kasu wa pipi tashi agabansu Kwa kana tuza tazu agabansu Kwa kana tuza Tuwa na Allah dhika makarishi Kuma muta ni sana jimba maki Sisi tu ayya ya za achi suda adilchi Aa, kamu kwa adida bangu da biu Ya zina za akawa mwote Na mkwa wale ubaade haka hushu kutu Kaini alkali Haka wanda bakita pasa ni nsaba Haka baye na abindi paru Kana iya gane Na mkwa nkana ubaade Ubaade shini baye daka siya Amma sanda kake mashi wadda Allah ta'ala riga hada jinin ku da shi yana nan yana nan ba abin da ya shafe shi 
amma wai bai da gaskiya dan uwanka sai kace abai bulala shafi da wanda ba son nan bai fita ba amma adalci ba kai shi takar mutane su dinga wasa da cewa ai wannan son shine a wannan ba gaskiya ba so wani ne abu daban wanda ba zai iya hana kai adalci ba shi yasa hatta musulmi da wanda ba musulmi aka kawo su banka aka ce kai hukunci idan musulmin ne bayar da gaskiya duk da kana son shi yana addininka to zaka ce bayar da gaskiya kuma hukunta shi kuma a bawo gaskiya wa gawane gwada wa musulmi saka mutane su dage su zaman to adilai kar su zaman to wato ainihin masu zalunci Allah bayar su zalunci na uh, the question is the what advice can one give to a husband who does not treat his uh, children and his wives with say uh, justice so justice is ordained or enjoined by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that one has to be just between between his wives his children and uh, those who are unjust on the day of qiyamah Allah the most high will raise them paralyzed so anybody who is raised with a uh, an ugly shape before Allah that person will be an image of hellfire therefore we should be mindful of that we should be conscious we should be try and see that we are just in dealing with our wives and our children so if you are buying something for your children you should buy for each and every one of them and then your wives also so the question of being just and also treating them equally always is a is a point of argument especially the non muslims or those who are fervently against polygamy they will say that there is no way you can be just and there is no way you can treat your wives uh, equally it's not true the two things are independent two things are different you may love one of your wives more than the other or one of your children more than others however that love you have for him or for her should not make you to incline and to treat them unjustly you should treat them equally so equality is there the love you have for him or for her is there but it should not make you to tilt and then be treating or maltreating uh, the others uh, uh, maltreating the others nawarais premium quality nawarais mil suka dauki nauyin kawo muku nawarais premium quality dan danon irin na daban ne ina ma abuta dillanci shinkafa da masu sayan daidai ko sari kwarai kuna iya samun shinkafar nawarais a nawo complex kusa da next shopping center kado district dake abuja nigeria kuna iya ziyartar ma ofishin mu dake floti mai lamba 870 gidado address way dake edo industrial area and extension fct abuja kazalika kuna iya tuntubar mu kai tsaye a lambobin karta kwana 0743 Nawarais mil suka dauki nauyin kawo muku.